Hi! <laughs> I know you guys probably been wondering where I've been. Let's just say I've been f***ing cooking. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be talking about Batman Arkham Shadows, and I know I'm catching some flack for my opinion about it in some regards, and I, I really want to say one thing. This game is sad. It's just sad all around. It's cool that we're getting it. Like, I, don't get me wrong, I am excited to see more of the Batman Arkham lore, but it's sad that a large player base isn't going to get this. From what I know, this Meta Quest 3 thing doesn't even have, like, what, f 2 million copies sold? Maybe it has 2 million. Let's be generous. As 2.5 million copies sold, that's not even near half of what the last two Arkham games sold. So, what I'm saying is most people that love the Arkham games or play the Arkham games or are interested in this and just don't have the money for a VR are going to be just watching this on YouTube, which is very, very uh, kind of sad. And it's frustrating because they had a good concept here. They could have taken this concept, the story, and they could have easily translated it into an Arkham game for the consoles, and then also had this VR system type of thing going on at the same time. Kind of like what they did with the Wii version of Arkham City, where they had, of course, the regular console versions, PlayStation and Xbox and PC, and then, of course, they had the Wii version, which was slightly a little bit different. It was basically the same thing, but you know what I mean. You know, there's multiple things that they could have done here to really accommodate everybody, and they accommodated, like, only a fraction not even a fraction a very small percentage of a player base that would normally be playing this game now granted i am going to be buying a meta quest 3 i i sadly bought my niece a meta quest 2 for christmas and now i have to buy a meta quest 3 i'm just going to give it to her when i'm done with it <laughs> so that's going to be really really fun i'm not going to lie um i am excited to actually play that game and see what it's all about and see like the whole lore in between arkham origins and arkham asylum like that part is exciting Everything that they've shown, the CGI trailers, are dope as shit. And I'm really kind of fascinated about how they're going to do the free flow combat, because they did say they're going to do the free flow combat in VR. I'm like, how the hell are you going to do that? Am I going to be, like, fighting, and I'm going to, like, bam, 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 and I have to, like, turn around like this and turn around like this? I'm just going to have to, like, keep turning around? Is that how it's going to be? Because i will get f***ing motion sickness fast. It would be kind of cool. And I'm definitely going to accidentally punch something in this goddamn small-ass place I live in. But it would be really, really cool to see. <laughs> to see that type of combat in that regard where you have a group of enemies surrounded you and now you're basically batman you can whip f fucking battering like that you know you have your little controller you can throw it or you know you're just punching people punch 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 and then dodge and that'd be pretty cool i'm not gonna lie that that'd be pretty dope so i'm interested to see how that actually flows what i'm concerned about is that they've given us two trailers and just screenshots of gameplay like, where's the actual game? Just show us some snippets. I mean, we already kind of have the general consensus of what it might be. So just show us something. All they're showing us is very simple CGI trailers that give us this basic concept of what it is. Like, they could really show us something. I think this game, what does it come out? It comes out pretty soon. It comes out this year. So I'm, I'm like, where the fuck's the gameplay? But anyway, another thing that would be really cool is, of course, the stealth and predator encounters, which I think is actually going to be fairly fascinating. I, I'm sure you're able to like walk around a little bit. Maybe that'd be really cool. You know, back in Batman Arkham VR, you didn't really have the opportunity to walk around. You just clicked the button and you transported to that. So I think what they're going to do here is have like a predator encounter and you could literally walk around, drop down and maybe like take a guy out and then grapple up and then it takes you up there. So that'd be really cool to see too. So I'm not necessarily saying that I'm too excited for this because I'm not like I, I really would rather take a traditional Arkham game in the form of Arkham Knight, Arkham Origins, Arkham City, all those games. I would much rather have that with this concept. It's such a genius concept. It's in between Arkham City, I'm sorry, Arkham Asylum and Arkham Origins. And they have Ratcatcher as the main villain with Harley Quinn rising up and Scarecrow doing his thing and other villain. Bro. And the fucking, and two faces there. I mean, bro, they really fumbled the bag. I'm not line here if you're telling me that they didn't fumble a bag i don't know what you're looking at you could be excited for this and still see that you sh that they should have done something bigger 
for this franchise that sells them like 10 million copies per game. Again, go look it up. Arkham Origins and Arkham Knight sold 7.5 million copies each, probably more now since Suicide Squad came out. People are like buying Arkham Knight. So genuinely speaking, realistically, they could have made so much more money. They could have made all the money back that they made or that they lost from Suicide Squad. And then bam, they could have easily made a console version of this. And <laughs> I'm just saying, WB is so incompetent. It's so laughable sometimes. And it really makes me frustrated. It makes me frustrated. This whole thing makes me frustrated. I'm excited to play the VR version of Batman Arkham. You know, I'm going to give it a chance. I'm not going to be mean to it. I genuinely don't really care that much about it, but I'm going to, um, maybe they could win me with the gameplay. Maybe when they start showing the gameplay, they could actually win me over. Right now, they're not showing anything. They're just kind of giving us promises, and it's making me wish that it wasn't a VR game. So if they could really convince me that this VR game was necessary and that it was actually something worthwhile, then maybe they sold me. Maybe they will sell me. But until then... I want a goddamn regular Batman game, WB. Everybody does. We're sick of this. Wait. So, thank you guys for watching. I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I'm going to be trying to make as much videos as possible very, very soon. I've been playing a lot of Marvel Vi Rivals last month, and oh my god, they're going to have a freaking beta next month. So, I'm very excited for that. You're going to be seeing a lot of gameplay of that. i played so many hours. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos in the future. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.